Hey there. So one of the problems that comes up is, is this idea of pausing people who are uh, in an automation. So I, I want to show you how we pause people. And, and here's the use case, right? Is, is that you have your nurture emails go out and then, uh, you, you know, some people will go into an engagement campaign. We are trying to sell them something. So, so you kind of want to take them out of that, that nurture sequence. But then when they're done, you want to put them back in the nurture sequence. And I'm a big advocate of having, you know, a long nurture sequence already programmed in. So how do you take people in and out of that nurture sequence and sort of resume where they left off? Now, how we do this is with wait conditions in the automation. So we just put a wait condition before the email that sends and all of the things in the wait condition have to be true for someone to go further in the automation. So what that means is you can add into that tags or fields or uh, um, other conditions that have to be true for someone to go forward. So you can, by changing those fields or those tags, you can hold somebody in this wait condition indefinitely. And then when you change the condition back, they go forward again. So we find this super helpful, and I'll show you what the conditions are here. If I can open this up. So if we edit the segment, you can see I've created a couple of different fields. So we have the engagement pause and the global pause. So engagement pause is anybody who's in an engagement sequence that's selling something. I don't want to distract them with these other emails, so it stops. Uh, it stops them going through the nurture sequence. Um, then there's a global pause. So maybe we're going through a launch or something. I don't want any nurture emails to go out. Well, I'll set this global pause in the contact record to on, and then it won't go through. Um, I also check and make sure it's the right day of the week. And in this case, this is for non-customers, non-clients. So I make sure that they are not on the client list before it goes further. So all of these have to be true. Engagement pause is pause off. Global pause is pause off. Current day of the week is Friday. Friday and they're not a client and when that is true it will send them the next email and anytime you change things you can see these people are just hanging out here in this wait condition and they're staying there until all of those conditions that we've set in that wait are true uh, and then you can see here in the contact record so this is a contact record and you can see we have the engagement pause and you can turn the pause on or the pause off and you know we are typically going to do this using an automation of some sort same thing with the global pause we can do the global pause on and off and then use that to kind of decide whether or not they're going through the, their nurture sequence. And again, this is really powerful because it allows us to keep people in the nurture sequence. If you have two years of nurture emails and they've gone through the first three weeks and then you send them off somewhere else for a while and then you want them to come back, this allows you to just send them straight back in by changing these conditions, right? By changing the engagement pause and the global pause and, and then they will continue on through the automation. So this is how we pause people people in their automations. I hope you find this helpful and I will talk to you soon.